Well, it's been a hot minute since I've talked about Kingdom Hearts, hasn't it? Of course, earlier this year, we saw the release of Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, a DLC expansion to the game and story, and a new way for all of us to get our asses reamed. Joking, these fights were actually really fun. But that story did tease some stuff for the future of the series, with things like Eve Zora, Kairi being asleep, and the team at Radiant Garden exploring her heart, etc. It seemed like Nomura and his teams were planning some pretty big stuff for the future of Kingdom Hearts from the narrative perspective, and we finally got a bit of a sneak peek at that. Of course, at the time of recording this, Kingdom Hearts Dark Road is going to be releasing very, very soon, like later today soon, telling the story of why Master Xehanort became the Seeker of Darkness. Now, we've known about that for a while, but that's only a mobile game. Many of us had the same question, what's next for the series on consoles? Well, this obviously. Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory was officially revealed a few days ago and just recently with an English trailer. This video won't be too long, but I'd like to give my general thoughts on Melody of Memory so far, both my positives and my criticisms from what we know at the moment. With that said, let's mosey. Now, what is Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory before we get started? Well, remember when Nomura said he wanted to make Final Fantasy XV a musical and he wasn't able to? Well, he finally got his dream, just in Kingdom Hearts. Basically, Melody of Memory is a rhythm action game where Sora and multiple other Disney characters that have appeared throughout the series will run through multiple story beats throughout the KH series and attacking these Heartless as well as other characters like Xemnas while timing your beats to the music. Yes, you too can now time your attacks just right to Xion's death scene. Man, this is weird. There's also more modes, like online battles for example, where we, at least at the moment, see Sora and Riku trying to get the higher score out of the two. But that's not all. You might think this is just some small rhythm game, but it's actually canon. Yay? This game actually follows up Kingdom Hearts 3, with Kairi and Riku now searching to the final world, with Sora arriving there too after his battle with Yuzora. Kairi and Riku are trying to obviously find Sora. Kairi is also seen running into the Master of Masters, who finally starts to take off his hood, but we don't get to see who he is yet, and knowing Nomura, we probably won't. But there's also multiple flashbacks we see from a first-person perspective of a little girl at Radiant Garden, who is currently presumed to be Kairi, as she's taken by Terranort. This sort of explains why she froze in front of Terranort at the Keepwood Graveyard too, which is why this theory has been sort of widely accepted at the moment. However, that's the most from this trailer. The game releases later this year for PS4, Xbox One, and for the first time, a Kingdom Hearts game is finally releasing on Switch. Now, what are my thoughts on this? From what I can tell, the reaction to Melody of Memory seems to be kind of split. People don't really seem to hate the game or anything, even if they don't really care for it at the moment, but many do have its fair share of criticisms, and while I actually do agree with some of them, I honestly think this looks like fun. Call me a fanboy all you want, but the main reason I'm excited for this is plain and simply, I love rhythm games. They're a genre I feel like I don't see much of anymore, and that's super disappointing because of how fun they really can be to me. I love rhythm games, and having this game be rhythm-based, tied to events in the KH series has a boatload of potential fun. Also, I'm pretty excited for the new story stuff in this. One is, I'm happy to see Kairi finally put her foot forward to fight and save Sora. Again, I like Kairi, but even I can admit that her role has been so widely, well, useless for so long now. But I loved playing as her in her mind, and even her being asleep at least proved that she was willing to help in some way. But now that she's in the final world with Riku searching for Sora and getting pissed off at the Master Mashes and charging at him, this is awesome to see. That being said though, it's not said that I don't think Melody of Memory isn't without criticism. As cool of a concept as this is, there's quite a few things I currently can criticize about it that many others I've pointed out too. First thing, I can completely understand that people aren't happy with this game having canon story elements with Kairi, the Master of Masters, Sora, etc. Having this rhythm action game, something that's so different from past games in the series and having it be canon, does raise an eyebrow a bit. Don't get me wrong, I think the game looks fun, but I can completely understand people not liking the idea of story content being tied to it. At the very least, don't be stuck on some sort of handheld or phone if there's a positive to these arguments. But also, I'm legitimately worried about the pacing. Are we going to go from Pippin and Jiven to big time major story beats? I just feel like it could be not just tonally a bit off, but also pacing wise a bit clunky. Also, I do agree with people when some have pointed out them still using the past Kingdom Hearts engine models. Don't get me wrong, I love the previous Kingdom Hearts games look, but I can sort of understand what people mean by them going from these models to the Unreal Engine models using KH3 and Remind for these cutscenes. This is a smaller critique I and others have though, so it's not a huge deal, but I do feel that it's worth pointing out. Finally, was this the best direction to take to tell the game's continuing and further evolving storyline? To be honest, I feel both sides have a point here. On the one hand, I'm extremely happy that this isn't tied to save the 3DS and that's it, or that it's some other mobile game like Union Cross and Dark Road. It's great that they're telling the story on the home consoles, especially the Switch. I honestly think that's a great move. Also, I'm still standing by the game looks honestly legitimately really fun. 
It might be my rhythm game bias showing a little bit, but I really do think there's a lot of potential here for the gameplay. Going from each world and playing along to a song a bit, to 140 of them, and having a legitimately great time. But let's talk about the other end of the spectrum. As much as I am looking forward to Melody of Memory, I can't necessarily deny that this is definitely a jarring way to continue the current story. Like I mentioned already, I'm predicting the pacing is going to be all over the place, jumping from Atlantica to Twilight Town to fight to the beat, to expanding upon the story at seemingly random intervals. But honestly, that's currently what we'll have to go off of so far. I'll leave a link down below to the English website if you'd like to view more details for yourself. With that being said, what do you think of Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory? Let me know down below. Thank you all very much for watching, have a great night, and signing off. Peace out, soldiers.